Hello and welcome to Celestial Chronicles, your go-to place for fascinating tales from the past. Today, we're diving into the life of Samson, a man of extraordinary might from the Book of Judges. From his divine birth prophecy to his awe-inspiring feats of strength, Samson's story is a thrilling ride of faith, power, and redemption. So, sit back, relax, and join us as we journey back to ancient Israel, exploring the tumultuous times of Samson and the Philistines. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more captivating stories from history. Let's get started. Samson, the iconic figure from the Book of Judges, chapters 13 to 16, is celebrated for his extraordinary might, attributed to his unshorn locks. Known as a judge and a divinely chosen leader, his strength was a divine gift from Jehovah. Even before his birth, an angelic prophecy foretold to his mother that her son would spearhead the liberation of Israel from the oppressive Philistines. The Philistines, formidable adversaries residing in Canaan, were a constant thorn in the side of the Israelites with their superior military might. On one fateful journey to the Philistine lands, Samson encountered a ferocious lion. In an awe-inspiring display of power, he vanquished the beast barehanded. His valor didn't stop there he went on to single-handedly defeat numerous Philistine warriors, striking fear into their hearts. Samson's saga, woven into the fabric of Israelite history, underscores the intense struggle against Philistine domination during Israel's formative years, around 1200 to 1000 BCE. The scriptures offer glimpses into his two decades of leadership, focusing on pivotal moments that bookend his tenure. His origin story is humble, born to a Danite peasant woman in Zorah, near Jerusalem, he was destined for consecration as a Nazarite from conception, a commitment to God marked by abstaining from alcohol, avoiding haircuts, and steering clear of the dead. In the annals of ancient Israel, the tale of Samson stands as a testament to the tumultuous relationship between the Israelites and the Philistines. Samson, a man of Herculean strength, was bound by a Nazarite vow from birth, a sacred promise made by his mother to an angel. This vow was the source of his might, and it required him to abstain from alcohol, avoid defilement by the dead, and, most importantly, never cut his hair. Samson's life was marked by feats that defied human limitations, yet it was his transgressions against his Nazarite vow that led to his downfall. His first act of disobedience occurred in Timnah, a town adjacent to Israelite territory, where he engaged in a feast with a Philistine woman. This act of fraternization with the enemy set a precedent for the series of events that would follow. Samson's exploits were legendary, he waged a solitary war against the Philistines, leaving devastation in his wake. In Gaza, he faced a Philistine ambush after visiting a prostitute, yet he emerged victorious, further cementing his fearsome reputation. However, his invincibility would be his undoing, as his affection for Delilah, a woman whose loyalty lay with the Philistine rulers, led to his capture. The Philistine leaders, eager to neutralize the threat Samson posed, offered Delilah a fortune, 1,100 pieces of silver, to uncover the secret of his strength. Delilah, driven by greed and devoid of allegiance to Samson or his people, persistently inquired about the source of his power. Samson eventually succumbed to her manipulation, revealing that his unshorn hair was the key to his supernatural abilities. Upon learning this, Delilah orchestrated Samson's betrayal. She lulled him to sleep on her lap and summoned a man to shear his locks. Stripped of his strength, Samson was defenseless when the Philistines seized him. They blinded him and subjected him to bondage, turning the once mighty judge into a spectacle of humiliation. During a grand celebration in honor of their deity Dagon, the Philistines paraded Samson out of his cell to mock him. Unbeknownst to them, his hair had begun to regrow, signaling the return of his strength. Guided by a young boy to the temple's central pillars, Samson prayed to Jehovah for the power to avenge himself upon his captors. Grasping the pillars, he mustered all his might and brought down the edifice, crushing the 3,000 Philistines gathered there and sacrificing himself in a final act of retribution. Samson's story is a complex tapestry of divine providence, human frailty, and the inexorable consequences of breaking sacred vows. It serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of forsaking one's spiritual commitments and the redemptive power of faith and repentance. His life, etched into the collective memory of a nation, remains a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between strength and vulnerability, between divine favor and human folly. And there you have it, the epic tale of Samson, a man of divine strength and human frailty. His story is a powerful reminder of the struggle between the Israelites and the Philistines, and the extraordinary feats one man can achieve. But it also raises some intriguing questions. What do you think about Samson's choices? Could he have avoided his downfall? As we wrap up today's episode on Celestial Chronicles, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you see any parallels between Samson's story and modern times? How does his tale resonate with you? 
Remember, history is not just about the past, it's about understanding our present through the lens of those who came before us. So, let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more captivating chronicles from history. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep the conversation going.